Let's look at the Daily Telegraph now. Uh, now HS2 high-speed rail uh, route is opposed by the church because graveyards uh, face desecration and should be shown reverence according to the Church of England. It's surprising this has only come out now. We've known what the route's going to be for ages, and yet this has only just come to light, it seems. Yeah, it seems every few months or every few weeks there's new problems with um, HS2, and this is the latest that's come up. So this is um, the Telegraph story about the Archbishop's Council. They actually have a petition um, that's been sent out saying that this will mean um, graveyards dating back to the 12th century being affected by this new route so i agree with you absolutely it's surprising that it's coming out now and it will resound amongst many people i mean you think when you bury your, your dead that they are actually safe or they're being buried so it will cause some problems um, apparently under the town and country planning act bishops have the right to put in place um, these concerns and regulations directing how the route will go so we'll have to see how this actually impacts the I mean, route. it's quite a major thing apparently there is a, a place called st james's gardens near um, Euston, which contains 30,000 graves, mm. which would have to be dug up um, if the expansion of that station takes place. And that is a massive and very, very sensitive operation. There was a big furore a few years ago when they redeveloped St Pancras um, for the Eurostar, and they just dug into the graves with the JCP. People were absolutely and rightly outraged about that. So they're being a lot more sensitive about it this time. But it might make the whole process a lot more time consuming and a lot more costly.